guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is gonna be for those of you who are going back to school, so let's get started. This makeup tutorial is really fresh, easy to do. So the first thing you wanna do is see what you have in your makeup collection. I'm dumping out my makeup bag here and I've got tons of things. The first thing I'm gonna do is wash my face. I'm gonna be using this Jojoba um, Charcoal Facial Scrub by Michael Todd. Just really making sure that I get all of the dirt, oil from sweating and my pillow and all that nasty stuff from the night before. Then you want to use a face lotion and this one is a charged water face and body lotion from MAP Cosmetics. It smells really, really good and it just moisturizes my face. The next is going to be um, a primer and this is going to help keep your foundation on all day long and this one is the Photo Ready or Photo Finish from um, Smashbox Cosmetics and I really like it because a little bit of product goes a long way, it gets into your pores and just gets a flawless finish. Next is your foundation. I'm opting for BB cream and this is one of my favorites. This is the Youth Code BB cream from L'Oreal Paris in the shade medium and you can just rub it all over your face. Notice I didn't use any brushes yet, just everything with my fingers. Next, I'm going to be contouring my face with a bronzer, and I love this one from um, MAC Cosmetics in the shade Blunt, using an angled brush into the hollows of my cheeks. I also did go over my forehead, um, on my neckline, and on the sides of my nose. Now for some color, I'm going to be using this pink cheek stain, and this is from City Color, and I just put it on the back of my hand and then patted it with my fingers onto my cheeks. You can apply this directly to my face, but since it is my first time using the product, um, I wanted to see how pigmented it was, and it was very, very pigmented, so a little bit of this product goes a long way as well. Next for eyebrows, I'm using Define a Brow from Maybelline New York and I love this product. I've used it so many times and I found it at a Kmart because I know they replaced it with um, a new formula or a new pencil so I was happy to find this guy and it's just one of my all time favorite drugstore eyebrow pencils. Next using this Mica Beauty um, Shimmering Powder and it's a mineralized eyeshadow and I love this product. I have so many stories about Mica Beauty because I've used their makeup forever, but even before I even started YouTube, if you follow me, you know that I've been um, collecting their powders for such a long time, so I just love it and I recommend it like highly. Next is mascara. This is Lash Booster and it's from Pixie and it's really, really, really black and it just makes my eyelashes stand out. As you can see, I mean, it's just like a weird angle of my eyelashes, but my bottom lashes are getting so long and they stand out so much more with this intense mascara. Next for lips, I'm gonna be using this number 69 um, lipstick from Urban Decay and it's super, super pigmented. Now, if you are gonna be wearing this to school, I definitely recommend using it like I am in this video where I pat it onto my lips then rub it in and then I also topped it off with a ballistic chapstick just to moisturize my lips so I have a little bit of color but not too intense. Excuse my eyebrows because I just waxed them but I just love um, the way that this look is just really fresh and still getting away with wearing some makeup to school. So definitely keep it light and keep it bright on your face. Now for my nail lovers, I didn't want to forget to mention that this is Pretty and Plum by um, Nicole by OPI and this is the Selena Gomez a nail polish and I just, I don't know, I'm obsessed with this color, it just makes my hand stand out. So this is my before and after, very dramatic, but still keeping it really fresh. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!